Hello and welcome to a special edition of Cracking the Cryptic. I was trying to work out what day it was then, but it's Tuesday. And what we're going to try and do is, ju well, just that. We're going to crack a cryptic crossword. This is by Dave Gorman, the brilliant comedian from the UK. Also one of my favourite crossword constructors. And this is, uh, this is Tuesday's Independent, today's Independent. Now, the reason that's interesting is that the Tuesday Independent often has a theme to it. And if you watched Dave's, uh, or the video I did of Dave's puzzle last time, you'll know that sometimes these themes are a bit too um, recondite for me. And I couldn't spot anything to do with the chase last time, and I needed the help of Google. I hope this will not be the same, and uh, we shall see. Anyway, let's have a look. Cl uh, Cliff's Affable Deception. Well, that's bluff. Um, sure what affable oh affable if you're affable you're bluffed it's a triple definition to kick us off so a bluff is a cliff a bluff obviously if you bluff it's a deception and affable a uh, word for affable is bluff so three definitions straight off the bat let's have a look at two down we have got 31's cat so it's probably lion let's look at 31 um factory on this island moving to start moving to start manufacturing minute parts or minute parts i have not got a clue what that is um it could be links i suppose uh i don't know i don't know what that is three down in france salmon is a source of fiber that one is flax so why is it flax france is just f uh i think that's the um what you'd see on a vehicle licensing uh, registration plate, a car from France would have an F on it. And then salmon, you might have heard of gravid lax. Um, so lax is a word for salmon. Flax is obviously a source of fibre. Shall we do ten across? Yeah, let's look at that. Perhaps King Edward's dropping round junk. Right, OK. <laughs> now I'm used to Dave now, so I'm well familiar with his... Uh, uh, his love of using poo in his clues. And in fact, that's exactly what he's done here. A dropping, that's poo. Uh, put that around tat for junk. And we get potato, which is, of course, uh, King Edward is a type of potato. And that's why we've got perhaps there in the clue. Oh, so this is looking more like lion than lynx. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what that other one was. Let's look at four across. Uh, Thatcher's material delivered by communists around start of election. OK, well, again, my big tip for one big tip for cryptic crosswords is when you read the clue, ignore the surface reading. This surface reading is clearly about Margaret Thatcher um, and, you know, some sort of leaflet that she's releasing um, that's being delivered by communists, which is very strange. Actually, the communists are probably releasing the leaflet about Margaret Thatcher. It is nothing to do with that. Thatcher's material is the definition. And the answer is being delivered by a word for communists. Well, think about short synonyms for everything. The shortest synonym I can think of for communists, plural, is reds. Uh, if it was communist singular, you could have she or Mao, I suppose. Um, but, um, but reds around the start of election, the start letter of the word election is E. Reeds are certainly something a thatcher might use to roof your house. So nothing to do with politics, but we get loads of starting letters. Massively beats cycling. Our trikes after vacation. And I know I'm probably annoying Dave because Dave wants these clues to be read as sentences. You know, massively beats cycling. Our tri I don't even know how you read that as a sentence. Massively beats. It means massively beats. It's routes cycling hour okay so if we cycle the word hour so we take the f the last letter and move it into the first position and then the first letter will become the second letter the third letter will so well, the second letter will become the third letter we get r o u trikes after vacation if we vacate the word uh, trikes we take out its middle we get a t and an s put that together we get routes um Five down. Nurse. Sometimes that can be E-N. Um, I'm not sure what. what it's something like enregistered nurse or something uh, that E-N stands for. But nurse can be E-N in crosswords. Um, occasionally I'm tense on a little horse and trap. Ooh. I don't know that. 
sorry, uh, six down. Carefully done engraving is about love in retirement. Ooh, I don't know that one either. Okay, eight across. Um, oh, this is a double one. 24 across and eight across together. Footballers move inside to network. Right, okay, well, this is one of those clues which is actually, the answer is hidden in the clue. We can just read it if we know where to look. So it's a footballer's move, and we need to look inside the letters of two network. And if you look carefully, you can see spelt out O-N-E-T-W-O, which is a one, two. I think it's this way around. So one, two. We've now got this one, eight down. 100 against 24, essentially. It must be ton, I think. Obviously, a ton is 100. Against could be two. 24, essentially. It's probably the middle letter of the word, of the answer at 24. Ah, oh, yeah, it is. Okay, that's good. We've already got that, so we know what that is. Let's look at this one. 11 across. We've got an N and a T. Sally Nugent. Sally Nugent with gig covering head of from Messi putting the ball between the opponent's uprights. What on earth is that talking about? Sally Nugent with gig covering header from Messi. Well, header from Messi will be M, the head letter of the word Messi. Putting the ball between the opponent's uprights. Gary Owening or some sort of rugby term? I don't know, not sure. Um, Oh, we've sort of ground to a bit of a halt in this part. Nine across. Greasy old cycle is regularly brought back. Right. Here we're looking for a word that means greasy. Old can sometimes be O. Let's put O in. Cycle is regularly. With these words like regularly mean take the regular letters from the, the previous string. So if you look at cycle is, and if we just take the even letters... So we get Y, L, I, and we bring that back. We can create the word oily, which is greasy. Seven down. Shy affair. That, well, it must be a double definition. A word that means shy and a word that's an affair is a fling. Um, where should we go now? I don't really want to look at that one again. Let's have a look at 12 down. Celebrate a champion's attributes for school. Celebrate a champion. Oh, this is a hidden again. I was thinking of celebrate sing. I was thinking of the names of schools, but actually uh, an attribute of the string of words celebrate a champion. You can see inside T-E-A-C-H, which means to school as a verb. So uh, teach is the answer. And that gives us more starting letters. Maybe passion fruit peeled into salad. Maybe passion fruit peeled into salad. So the way that I'm reading this clue is we need a word for a fruit. We need to peel it, so take its its first letter and its last letter away. And we need to put that into a word for salad, but I don't know many words beginning with E for salad. I'm not sure I know that one. 22. Associate prisoner with case of negligence before court. Okay, well, this this one is easier. Prisoner, when you see that in a crossword clue, it's very often either a con or a, or a lag. So here it's con. We've got the C at the start. The case of the word negligence is just the first and the last letters, N-E. Before court, an abbreviation for court is C-T. Connect is to associate. So that's the answer there. Let's look at 13 down. Phone driver about something highly toxic. Uh, it's probably the name of a poison, which is going to be... Phone could be ring. So if we put R-I-N-G here, fringe. Driver. I'm not sure. I don't know. 14. Is Queen entertained by my sadness? Oh, this is a... Harry doesn't fit. Um, and the... Oh, misery is the answer. It's not a. It's not. It's not a, a reference to what's going on in the monarchy at the moment. Is queen. So that's just is. An abbreviation for the queen, Elizabeth Regina, er, comes up all the time in crosswords, 
that's being entertained by the word my, put my around it, misery is sadness. Very nice. And 16 down. Unacceptable, whichever way you look at it. Okay, whichever way you look at it is a palindrome indicator. It's saying whether we look at it forwards or backwards. So if this needs to read the same backwards and forwards, we can immediately fill the O in. And now you've just got a choice of 26 letters, but it's not too difficult to see. Not on, I think, is unacceptable. And obviously it's the same backwards and forwards. Oh, what's this then? Elation? Maybe emotion? Oh, bother. Right, sorry. I was slow here. Okay. Salad. Salad is being, is being used as an anagram indicator. It's saying make a salad of the word into. And if you do that, you can get T-I-O-N. So how does the start work? Fruit peeled, well a lemon, if we peel the word lemon, we take off the L at the start and the N at the end, we just get E-M-O, emotion. One, of course, passion is a form of emotion. So that's how that one works. Oh, this is the one we were looking at before. It's not ring in the middle of it. Don't know. Um, Virginia's on ordinary eggs. Okay, well this is fairly straightforward. If you see US states, always be aware that they have two letter abbreviations. Virginia's is VA. Ordinary, you've probably heard of an O level. That's an ordinary level. So O is used as an abbreviation for ordinary. Over, plural of ovum, which are, is an egg. So plural over eggs. That's the answer. Uh, drink consumed in the outskirts of Winchester. Okay, well this is a fairly straightforward clue. Uh, it means drink uh, we need a word for consumed. We need to put that in the outskirts of Winchester. Well, what could the outskirts of Winchester possibly mean in a cryptic crossword context? It's not going to be a definition of a word that means the outskirts of Winchester. There isn't a word that means that. Um, so we need the, the, when it says outskirts, it means the first and the last letters, the sort of periphery of the word. So that's W and R. And if you get the W and the R around the outside of this, it's not too difficult if we're looking for a drink to see the answer must be water and consumed is eight. So 17 across. One goes round with a despicable person. One goes round wheel. Ah, yeah, okay. So how does this work? With can be abbreviated to W. Um, so, and then a despicable person. You don't really need the A there, to be honest. A despicable person. One goes round with despicable person, it could read. And a heel is a despicable person. So what heel, one goes round, obviously a wheel goes round. Ah, what's this one now? And what I'm, by the way, what I'm doing here is I'm not looking at the clue. I'm just looking at the, the letters and thinking, can I think of a word? I'm thinking of the word enough, actually. Um, and that would work with nurse, wouldn't it, being E-N. Occasionally I'm tense. No, it's not. It's not enough. Occasionally is saying take the regular letters of the string I-M-T-E-N-S-E. -E. Now, if you do that and you just take the even letters again, you'll get M-E-S. And a little horse is saying take a little of the word horse. Well, what's the least you could take of the word horse? It's just the initial H. And if we put all that together, so we've got E-N for the abbreviation for nurse, M-E-S, for the even letters of the string I'm tense, put all that on H and we get enmesh, which is a trap. If you trap something, you enmesh it. So it's clever, this clue, because it's very tempting when you read it to read horse and trap as a phrase. It's so familiar to us. Why would we split them up? But that's exactly what Dave wants us to do. He wants to mislead us. He's being devious. Um, what on earth is this? Sally Nugent with gig covering. Oh, nutmegging it must be. Oh, that's really clever. Okay, well, I've just proved my own point. So he's, he's misled me again here because Sally Nugent, it's, it's very hard for you not to read that as referring um, to, the, the, to the broadcaster, to the presenter, Sally Nugent. But we mustn't read it that way. Sally is being used as an anagram indicator here. If you um, if you go on a sally or you... I think a sally on a ship is something to do with swaying. 
So presumably you can Sally, you can rock Nugent and Gig. Now, if you do that there, you can see we've all those letters are definitely appearing in this string. And that's covering the M, which is the header, the head letter from the word messy. And putting the ball between the opponent's uprights is not saying score a goal or convert, you know, the rugby, get the rugby conversion. It's saying put the ball between the opponent's legs. That's really clever. Sally Nugent. Don't read Sally and Nugent together. OK, what's this? Um, ah, what is that? Carefully done engraving is about love in retirement. Oh, this is this is a French word. It's something like swan a, isn't it? I'm never sure how to pronounce this word either. I don't think it's a T there. I think it's an N. Um, so how does it work? I'm not even sure what this means. I thought it meant like smart. Um, it must mean carefully done. Engraving can be E-N-G. Is I-S. That's about love which is o as in a love score in tennis and that's all reversed jeepers creepers that's very difficult uh, it's a difficult word and it's quite difficult wordplay because engraving is not an abbreviation that trips off the tongue let's look at this one 18 down a substance that can invigorate i'm thinking elixir immediately and rile up touring team yeah okay um so a, a team, if you see team in a cryptic crossword, it can just mean an 11. The Roman numeral for 11 is XI. So here what we need to do is rile up, R-I-L-E, that tours XI. Actually, I think I did the R-I-L-E wrong. R-I-L-E there, and XI here for the team Put all that together, elixir is certainly a substance that can invigorate. 19 down, left lid off 18 showing balm. Uh, lid off 18, 18 is this one. It must be lotion. Oh, I almost want that to be the lid off emotion then. It would be the lids off emotion, wouldn't it? Oh, it's potion, I see, right, okay. It is lotion, um, and I understand the wordplay now. It's L for left, and take the lid off a word for elixir. Well, elixir is a potion, and that gives us ocean. L plus ocean equals a balm. Um, that's that one. Fool, welcoming sun. <laughs> Fool, welcoming sun journalist is misrepresented. You can see again, I'm so familiar with cryptic clues I never read them as sentences I'm always trying to deconstruct them into bits um, so a fool is probably a twit twisted yeah okay so twit goes around s for sun and a journalist is an editor and put all that together misrepresented is twisted gives us a d in this one ran out of gear Ran out of gear is a funny phrase uh, in cryptic crosswords, by the way. Ran out, ran out of gear can sometimes be used to indicate streaking because, of course, people run out of their clothes, their gear, at sports events. But it doesn't seem to be that here. Ran out of gear. Bluth. I'm never sure. I can, I, Dave even explained how, how you meant to pronounce this. I think it is Bluth rather than Bluff. Uh, had been in front idled if, so if an engine runs out of gear it idles so and if Bluth who wrote the clue had had been leading he'd say I'd led and that's how the, the wordplay works what on earth is that um, ah this is rhizome okay a stalk underground is a rhizome and that fits here so it must be right and there's some Z stuff going on so let's work out why the wordplay works Art whiz discovered by women's center. Well, the center of the word women is O-M-E. So we need to work out why the rest of this is. Oh, discovered, right. I'm not used to this. this, this the word discover obviously means to unearth, to find. Does it mean to uncover, to, to remove the outside letters of? 
and that's that's how Dave's using it here. It's very it's cheeky. I like it though. So art, if you discover the word, if you take its cover away, you'd just be left with the inside R. If you discover the word whiz, you're just left with H I Z. So that's how we get the R and the H I Z there to create rhizome. I haven't actually looked at whether we've got any um, theme going on yet, have I? I'm not. So what I'm doing, by the way, is I'm reading between the, like I'm, I'm reading this as Sovel, S-O-V-A-L. This one is Ronix. I'm not seeing anything. Um, no, sorry. Okay, let's carry on. Uh, professor entertaining the old dean. Doyen, the old. If you see that, it's an old word for the, which is ye. Put don, a word for professor. Around ye, we get doyen. And a doyen is a dean. Um, oh, this one. Oh, this is the poisonous one. Um, still don't know that. Bobbins, uh, this one. Member of Parliament, almost always MP, is hard and solemn. Is hard. Hard can be abbreviated to H. It's what you might see on a pencil. Uh, so I want this to really end ish. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, I know that. A Parliament is a collective noun for owls. So you get a Parliament of owls. So a member of a Parliament is an owl. Owlish can mean solemn. That's lovely. Very nice indeed. Hitcher who travels. No idea. Um, okay, we're done. We're not done well at all getting sort of starting letters in the bottom half of the grid here. Oh, this is our phone driver again. Oh, and this is the factory one. Ah, I'm running out of good places to look here. Index was oddly missing information. Okay, that must be the even letters of the words index was, and it is. They spell out news, which is certainly information. We've got an H here. Singers initially rejected God. Okay, well, this is the Egyptian god Horus. And if you take chorus, which is, of course, a group of singers, and reject its initial letter, you just get left with the name of the god. Uh, 30 down. Film companies editing out 10 hunks. Stud studios, lovely. Okay, so studios are film companies edit out the 10. Well, 10 is being used to indicate the I and the O here because they sort of look like a 10 if you look at them. Uh, and hunks are studs. Um, let's look at that one. I heard aged generations getting the sun. I heard aged generations getting the sun. I have no clue what that is. Okay, 32 down. Deliver vote, for example. Um, I don't know what that is either. Oh dear. Uh, plant transported. Ah, I can do this one. Transported in a car is saying anagram the words in a car. To create a plant, well, it's arnica. Good for bruises, apparently. Although I've never tried it myself. 33 down. No more than nine making independent navy. No more than nine. What's nine? Oily. Ah. Right. Clever. So if you take the word oily and you make its I, which is an abbreviation for independent, into an N, which is an abbreviation for navy, you get the word only, which means no more than. Um, so now we've got a, oh, we've got a Y in this one. Day by day or something. Um, this one. Reverberation from karate chop while well, hidden in the word or the words karate and chop you can see echo which is most certainly an abbreviation. So I've actually got most of this done now but with some I've got my lion here. Just looking to see if I can see a 
can see connect here. I can only connect, I can see. Now only connect, if it was about that, is one of the is one of the very few game shows I do watch. So can we see Victoria Corrin Mitchell in this grid? Oh no, oh no, I can't see Victoria, but I can see Twisted Flat. It is only connect. Twisted here, twisted. Flax. Two reeds. Oh, lovely. Two reeds. The bluff potato. No, there isn't a bluff potato. I don't think there was an Egyptian hieroglyph for that. Um, gosh, now I'm going to show my ignorance by not being able to remember what the hieroglyphs are. Twisted flax. Two reeds. Is it? I think it is just a lion. Maybe that one's just lion. And that's what that's referring to. Horus. The eye of Horus. Oh, is that this one? Oh, I've been reading this one the wrong way round. It's 39 first. Ah, uh, sorry. I thought it was this one and then this one. It's not. It's 39, then 37. I have... I have what? I heard... Oh, I heard will be a homophone for the... For this version of I. So that'll be I... Age Generations Getting the Sun. The Eye of the Day? Is that a word for the sun? I've never heard of that. That's a complete guess. I'm not even sure I understand the wordplay. I heard. Aged Generation. Why is Aged Generation of Day? Ooh, it might not be. Is the answer. But I really like Eye of to give us Eye of Horus. Aged. I suppose if you said the, the girl was aged five girl of five maybe of is aged generation back in my day back in my does that mean my generation it might do i'm not sure i understand that i think it is eye of day that would give us this one deliver vote for example say maybe deliver i mean if you say say is used to indicate indicate an example of something it's a potato say means it's a potato for example a vote a vote if you have a vote do you have a say i think you do yeah okay i like say for that um what is this one factory on this island moving to start manufacturing minute parts Oh, and it might have lion in it. Oh, millionths, then. A factory is a mill. Yeah, I think this is millionths. I haven't quite got my head around why, but let's put it in and see. Oh, millionths. No, that won't work. Millionths. So, factory, mill. Oh, right, okay. And then it's saying mill. Then take on this... And move I, which is an abbreviation for island, to the start. So that on, you can see on this is almost spelt out, but it's I has moved to the beginning. And that creates millionths, manufactures millionths, which are minute parts. That is not easy. Um, and I don't think millionths are used in only collect, but that does confirm lion. Um, so we've only got three left. We've got this one, which is the... Oh, ah, it's the Horned Viper. Sorry, sorry, sorry. If I got that earlier, I would have been able to get the only connect thing earlier. Um, but I didn't. It's, an, it's just an anagram, a phone driver. Um, so Horned Viper, Eye of Horus. Twisted Flax. Two reeds, lion. I think there's one other one. 
Eye of Horus. There's definitely six on the opening board. What am I missing here? Lion, Twisted Flax, Two Reeds, Horned Viper, Eye of Horus. Oh, is it the water? Lion and the water. Yeah, I think the water is just that, that wiggly one, isn't it? So I think it's just lion and water. Okay, so I don't have to do anything complicated with water, but I do have to solve this clue. Hitcher who travels. Right, if you go to Gretna Green, you would be an eloper. So a hitcher is somebody who gets married. Okay, so we've solved the puzzle. Now I just want to have a look about all the Only Connect stuff. I've got Only Connect. Now have we got Corin Mitchell in here or something like that? Where are the M's? There are quite a few M's to check out here. Uh, I'm not seeing anything actually. Oh, not quite. Uh, da, 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 da. One second, it's worth checking. You never know. No. Okay, let's read the gaps. We've got. Oh, that is absolutely. Look, right. In fact, just. I'm not going to give it away. Just look at. Read across the grid as you go down. Read, read the letters. The whole uh, of the strings given by the letters as you go down the rows here. And you will find something, if you watch the program, you'll find something absolutely brilliant. It is That is really, really good constructing. To put that into this grid with all this other stuff in it is very impressive. All right, I'm going to show you now. Look, T-H-M-S-S-N-G-V-W-L-S-R-N-D. The Missing Vowels Round, which is my favourite part of the show. Um, part, actually, I do like the wall as well. But uh, wall's probably here somewhere. Um, but anyway, The Missing Vowels Round. And there are no vowels in the expression The Missing Vowels Round. That is absolutely, it's witty and brilliant. And just think about that. Think what Dave's had to do to make this grid. He's, he's got very specific letters to put in these gaps. And then around those, he's got to include, he's got, to, well, he's obviously trying to include the six Egyptian hieroglyphs. That is not easy to do and only connect. That's very clever, very clever. And it appeals to me because it's the only quiz show I regularly watch. I used to watch University Challenge, um, but I don't anymore. Um, anyway, fantastic. Loved it. Let me know in the comments how you got on with it and um, whether or not this sort of thing is helpful to your solving. And yeah, we'll see you soon on Cracking the...